It's been three days since someone gunned down a father of three just blocks from his Norfolk home. Police still have no suspect information to release. But today, Ted on Your Side learned from a source within the department that the shooting happened after an alleged road raid incident got out of control. Ted on Your Side's Deanna LeBlanc is back on Denver Avenue with this new development. Deanna? Yeah, Tom, tonight there's a growing memorial for 38-year-old Isaac Gervasio. You can see it here. Just a minute ago, a family member was here praying and looking at this and came up to me shaking, asking that we please get the word out there on the news tonight that if anyone saw anything, to come forward. Because while police aren't saying much, we learned from a source today that this all happened after a traffic accident went too far. Three days after a Norfolk father was gunned down outside Dora Gibson's Denver Avenue home, evidence of the tragedy remains. Spot blood right there. It started Friday evening when a sound rang out one Gibson's never heard before. Around 7, 7 15, uh, we were sitting in there watching uh, Wheel of Fortune, and my husband said, Ah, oh, that was a shot. So I said, You sure? She raced to her window to see what was going on. There was a car sitting here with both doors open, passenger and driver. The lights were on, and there was a man laying behind it on the back, on his back. That man now memorialized a block away, 38-year-old Isaac Gervasio. He leaves behind a wife, two sons, and a daughter. He was trying to raise up, you know, like feet and upper body, and so I went back in and told my husband, I think he's dying. Gibson called police. She said dozens of cars responded quickly. Today, a source within the department confirmed to Ted on your side, Gervasio allegedly sideswiped another vehicle. Then the two drivers got into an argument. The driver of the other car then allegedly opened fire. Gervasio died at the hospital. Over a meal, sideswipe a meal, and they do that to you. Crazy, crazy people. And while I was out here earlier today, I met the president of the Coleman Civic League. That's for this neighborhood. He says he plans to bring up what happened with the community resource officer at their meeting tonight, which starts at 7. Hear from him coming up tonight at 6. Live in Norfolk, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side.